Project X Cloud or Google Stadia, which streaming game servers should you pick? Let's find out afterward from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by BNH Photo, where not only can you find the latest electronics, camera hardware, but also gaming hardware, including monitors, consoles, games, you name it. Definitely use our link down below to check it out and let's jump back in. Okay, so we're here at E3 2019 and we got to see Microsoft's huge slew of announcement, lots of games. Uh, there's a new console coming out next year that will support 8K, 120 hertz refresh rate, DDR6. Uh, we're talking about something that has ray tracing called, you know, Project Scarlet, but that's not the important thing. It's all about streaming game services this year. Google announced Stadia, which is launching in November, and we'll talk about it in a second. But Microsoft says Project X Cloud is coming, going to be launching in October of 2019. And what do you get with Project X Cloud? First off, if you own an Xbox, you can turn your Xbox into your own personal Project X Cloud server, which means you can stream your games from your Xbox anywhere. And what do they mean by anywhere? Uh, they showcase streaming on tablets, on iPads, uh, on iPhones, on Galaxy S10s, which is the devices we were using, Razer phones, so a slew of devices you can stream, which is pretty cool. Now the, the base streaming level will be 720p and up, so which means it will match everything that Google has stated with, uh, with Stadia, although Microsoft hasn't given full details there. But you'll care about performance, so we got to play a couple of games on there. We played some, um, some Gears of War, um, Gears of War 4, Played really well, looks really good. I liked it. It, it, I didn't have any issues. There were no latencies. We're playing off Wi-Fi on the system, which is nice. I also got to play some um, Hellblade. Just a little bit, got stuck in the stage somehow, but you can see also the graphical fidelity of it. It looks really, really nice. Uh, Forza Horizon as well. They had a bunch of games there that we actually got to check out and play. And those games handled well. And we all played, I played all those on the Galaxy S10 Plus. That was the device at hand to use. Again, connecting with your Xbox controller, but think about it. That's what Microsoft is offering you. And if you own those games on your Xbox, it is free to play. Now, they haven't talked about the cost of the streaming service or how that would apply, but you will be able to use your Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is $15 a month, um, to actually play those games online. So that is something that you can use with Project X Cloud because you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which allows you to play games on both Xbox and PC uh, for $15 a month. Games like Gears of War 5, all the Halo stuff. So there's a lot of games off the bat that you can play with Project X Cloud, and we got to see it working on the Galaxy S10 Plus. So that was cool. Now, then we have Google Stadia. Google finally announced pricing for Stadia functionality, and at launch in November, the only way you can play using Stadia is, of course, getting the Founders Edition, which is basically a Google Chromecast and the Stadia controller, and then you can go ahead and play. The other supported devices are Pixel devices. So that's the difference here. First of all, Microsoft says, hey, look, any device out there you can use, whether it's Android or iOS, Google is saying, Chromecast or Pixel devices, there's some limitations there. Their service will cost $10 a month, and uh, with the paid service, there will be some free games available, uh, but other games you do have to buy. So there is no uh, game um, subscription service as of yet. So those are the differences you have there with both. I've got to say that I still want to see more from Project X Cloud. We got to see it in a controlled environment. And with Stadia, we also saw that, you know, courtesy of our buddy Tech Guy Smart Buy. You can go check out his full video on it. We saw that in the control environment as well. So we want to see how it actually works in at home in different places. With with uh, Microsoft with Project X Cloud, we've got to wait till October. They haven't given a specific date yet, but if you own an Xbox already, that is your path in, in there. If you don't, they will also mention ways you can actually go ahead and use that service. Either way, guys, this is an exciting time. What do you think? Do you think Microsoft service eventually is gonna cost more, especially now that you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for $15 a month? Or do you think Stadia, with what Google is offering and also tying into YouTube is something you're willing to look like? Otherwise, guys, let me know what you think. I'm excited for both. I'm an Xbox user, so I can't wait to have to see what Project X Cloud has to offer. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and 
always enjoying your entertainment.